Hey guys, what's going on? It's Bob with the Mr. Bob Show. And I figured I would show you guys my latest toy that was actually given to me for free, which is mint. Check this out. Craftsman. 13.5 industrial commercial gold. Okay. Tractor. Now, the bad, the deck is junk. Absolute junk. As you can see, it's all rotted out to the point where even the spindles are falling out. But that's fine, I don't care, because it does start and run. And this is, let me pop the hood here. Show you what we got here. It's got the IC Gold, 13 and a half horsepower. Quiet package installed, industrial commercial, cast iron cylinder. It's got a sweet exhaust that's going to keep it nice and quiet. Fuel tank, electric start. Get all the bells and whistles up here. The clutch engagement, which is for the mo for the mower part, but we're not even going to use that. We're going to take this off, which is the deck height adjustment, which works, but I'm actually going to pull the deck off of this thing. And it's got, it needs a real good pressure washing, but I have heard it start. And the guy actually just wanted it out of his yard to come get it. You can have it. I mean, look at the seat. The seat's mint. Just needs a good cleaning. Is your battery, which needs to be replaced, but that's all right. The Craftsman serial numbers. Get all the tow stuff on the back. Nice tires all around, which hold air. They all hold air. Headlight package. I said all these tires hold air. But I really don't care about that deck, because that deck is coming off. And this is what's going on it. Check this out. Nice plow setup. I'm really not sure how big it is. I'm going to say it's probably about three and a half feet. And it's going to need a little bit of tinkering. It's not built for this machine, but that's what welders are for. Basically, I'm going to cut this plate right here off. And I'm going to make some holes in this. And this will actually attach to the front, which means I'm going to have to... See this front plate here? I'm going to have to build it out a little bit so we can maintain the, the light section. I might have to cut some of this out, which isn't a big deal. I just use my Dremel. And it actually cuts this plastic stuff pretty good. And we're going to have ourselves a nice little 13 and a half plow. Like I said, here's your choke system. It's a five speed reverse. And it runs like uh, the wheels are, I think they're like hydrostatic style. Uh, hydrostatic style rear end. I don't know how well you can see it. But the belt runs the hydrostatic wheels. Here's your clutch and your brake. But Mint, the guy actually hooked me up, a guy named Marty, hooked me up with this. And he also gave me, basically I went down to his house and he gave me a trail load of goodies. Uh, the plow came from someone else, but he gave me a nice shop vac. He gave me a air and snow blower. The air and snow blower needs a motor, but that's fine because I got motors sitting around everywhere. Uh, so that's not a big deal. A bug zapper, uh, three or four grills, which we just scrap metal. Uh, a couple other things that he hooked me up with. So keep your eyes open for that project because originally what I was going to do is I was going to put it on this right here, the Toro. But I don't think this thing will push snow that well. I mean, it has to be a real light, light snow. So I'm going to keep this intact. This, because this mower deck is mint. The seat is pretty junk. But this has the eight horsepower Briggs. So we're going to get the little thing here that I got to push in. Oh, I'll have to sit you guys down for one second. See if I can sit you guys down to see how this works. See. Let's try this right here. Just push this little switch in, and the seat goes down. So we're going to use this as a regular 
cut the grass machine. It's got the thing on the back. And I actually have the baggers at my father's house. So, there you go. And if anybody's local, getting rid of this truck cap. And there's the go-kart that we'll be working on. So, looks like i got a bunch of good projects coming up for the summer. Uh, you know, get them all ready for next year. That Can't wait to get that craftsman going, take it all apart. Probably use it as a go-kart for the summer for the kids. So they have the two go-karts. One of them can ride the uh, craftsman, the other one can ride the actual go-kart. And then I have, uh, once fall comes, I'll just put the plow attachment on there. I'll get it all set up this summer, but... That way, and it's both the plow attaching right on. And I also got some more contests coming up, guys, so keep watching. All right, thanks.